is South Carolina Democratic Congressman James Clyburn, Assistant Democratic Leader. Sir, it's great to have you here, and let's talk about what we do expect to hear from the president tonight. We do have uh, the information he will be talking about, the drawdown of troops in Afghanistan going down to 34,000. That's half of US, U.S. troops currently in Afghanistan. But adding a wrinkle to the State of the Union tonight is North Korea and what we know happened there with clear test. Uh, the statement from the White House, I want to read it for everybody. The United States remains vigilant in the face of North Korean provo provocations, steadfast in our defense commitments to allies in that region. Uh, however, though, there are already people on the right that are giving their, uh, uh, I guess, uh, understanding of what the president is going to say tonight and the fact that representative mike rogers is saying that this test is a reminder of years of failed policies to prevent nuclear programs and proliferation so with the language that we understand that the president will talk about tonight in regard to afghanistan what are you hoping the message he will send in regards to north korea well first of all thank you so much for having me thomas i would hope that the president will remain steadfast he's made it very very clear that he is not going to stand idle uh, as these uh, rogue nations uh, continue to uh, pursue uh, nuclear weapons. I think he's demonstrated uh, his intestinal fortitude time and time again. He's demonstrated that domestically when he pushed forward with his uh, health care plan. He demonstrated that on the, on the national front when they went after Osama bin Laden. So I think that the president has all it takes uh, to stand up to this challenge. And it is a challenge. Uh, we must be very, very careful uh, when we deal with these kind of immature actions coming from a nation that is pretty uh, immature but now has a leader uh, that is rather immature. Congressman, you're asking the president to be steadfast. Uh, and one thing that we're hearing today about the president's steadfastness is in regards to the budget concerns of this country. Uh, and we had uh, John Boehner coming out today saying he doesn't think that the president has the guts to do the heavy lifting. His exact words saying, I think he'd like to deal with it, but do I think he can uh, to, to do the kind of heavy lifting that needs to be done? I don't think he has the guts to do it. And we see uh, that Republicans are circling the wagons from Kevin McCarthy this morning on the Daily Rundown. Take a listen. Don't underestimate this House. I, I listened to the White House before. This is the second largest Republican majority since World War II. This is lo larger than any uh, majority during Newt Gingrich's years. And we've got a very strong Senate that I believe in the next election can take the majority. So, sir, with a very narrow window for the president, do you believe that he can get anything done when Republicans are already looking ahead to the midterm elections? <laughs> That's exactly. That's why I was kind of uh, interested in what Senator McConnell uh, had to say about the president campaigning. It sounds to me uh, that Mr. McCarthy is running a campaign. That's not what the president is doing here. He's not thinking about uh, what may or may not result in a majority. He's thinking about what should be done in order to get our country on a path uh, toward economic development, job creation, rebuilding our infrastructure, educating our children, doing what is necessary to move this country forward. He is not running a campaign. He is responding to a campaign of misinformation and misdirection that's coming from our Republican colleagues. Sir, I want to talk to you about the president's cabinet because there's a headline in the South Carolina state newspaper saying that Clyburn not interested in U.S. transportation post, a reference to you taking over for Ray LaHood, who is stepping down. Are you interested in being secretary of transportation or having any cabinet post at all? No, I'm not interested in being secretary of transportation. I'm not interested uh, in leaving the Congress. I love the Congress. I have uh, spent uh, 20 years here. Uh, I look forward uh, to regaining uh, the old job I had uh, as a House Majority Whip. And so I'm going to be responding to this campaign of misinformation and misdirection uh, from uh, Mr. McCarthy and others uh, to reach out to the American people trying to help this president do what is necessary to move our country forward. I believe I can be much in the House of Representatives, and that's where I plan to stay. Congressman James Clyburn, sir, thanks for your time this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.